Hi and welcome to our brief video which will give you an introduction to an overview of some of the features available for analyzing player performance data with MatStatics. MatStatics is an app for the iPhone or iPod Touch that enables parents, coaches, scouts or analysts to capture and analyze player performance data. Let's look at a real example by reviewing some performance data for a young player that I have been co coaching. In this match I captured data for four different actions. The data for each action appears on a separate page and can be accessed by swiping the next or previous page into view. Paul is a central midfielder so let's just focus on his most important action, passing. Paul has had 55 pass attempts in this game. I know from doing many games that this is a very respectable number for this age group and the level that Paul is playing at. It suggests to me that Paul has taken responsibility during the game. He has gotten on the ball and passed it. We have been working on this in training so I will make sure I share this positive feedback with Paul. Paul has completed 42 of his 55 pass attempts. That's giving him a pass completion ratio of 76%. That means that 13 of Paul's passes were incomplete. There could be an issue here. At the level Paul is playing at, he should really be aiming to complete more than 80% of his passes. So the quantity is good, but the quality could be better. Let's take a closer look by tapping on the result button. Here is the location information for all of Paul's passes in the match. Let's open the filter view and focus on all passes that had a negative outcome. I can see from this that Paul is having difficulty with longer passes. Also worth noting that a lot of the failed passes are forward passes. If I look at the outcomes, I can see that most are incomplete. This means that Paul isn't hitting the intended target with his long range passing. Paul's technique for long range precision passing clearly needs some work. This would also suggest that until Paul's long range passing technique improves, he could be more effective during matches right now by looking to move the ball forward with shorter passes. Let's pop back to the results screen and review the action frequency graph. In the graph, the game is split into 10 minute segments with each action represented as a color coded block and stacked in sequence within the relevant slice. Paul's passing graph is indicating a dip in activity and quality over the last 30 minutes of the game. This of course is a strong indicator of overall fitness and could be suggesting another area of improvement for Paul. In order to share this performance data, MatStatic supports the generation of a comprehensive player report in PDF format which can then be mailed to any valid email address from within MatStatic's. Just tap on the email player report button at the bottom of the screen, enter an email address and send. Here is the player performance report that has just been generated by MatStatics. As you can see it contains all the information we have just reviewed. The action details, the action map and the action frequency graph. As a parent, mentor, coach or scout, it is easy to take a very subjective view on player performance. With MatStatics you are now armed with objective feedback, both positive and negative, that you can review and discuss with the player. As a coach, you now have the relevant and tangible coaching points to bring into the next training session with Paul. So that concludes our brief demo and introduction to MatStatics. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you have great success helping your players develop by measuring and analyzing their performance with MatStatics. MatStatics is available for download on the iTunes App Store.